and welcome back to Most Amazing Top 10, I'm Rebecca Felgate and today I'm talking about Disney being pretty darn PG. Yep, that's right, Disney isn't quite as sweet and innocent as we may have first thought. In fact, it's probably been subtly teaching the kids about the birds and beads for decades, so… So I'm right here bringing you the sexiest Disney moments. They exist! Coming in at number 10, we have Lady and the Tramp smooching over spaghetti. I mean, talk about the sexual tension over some pasta. Woo! Tramp takes Lady out for a romantic meal at Tony's, who by the way gives Tramp the old wink wink nudge nudge dirty laugh as he prepares their table. Like Tony! Calm it down you dog! They are serenaded as they go in for the same piece of pasta and uh oh! Lady gets that starry look in her eye before the pair head off together in the night. Next up, what is hotter than a honey who is unfazed by the snow? Coming into number 9, we have Elsa's sultry transformation. While Frozen is reasonably sexy moment free, Elsa's evolution is undoubtedly a hot moment in a chilly movie. As she sings Let It Go, Elsa visually becomes way more confident and relaxed. It's a bit of a PG striptease as Elsa at first removes her purple cloak, then she sheds her dress for a fitted blue gown with a pretty cheeky frontal leg split. It's all about that sassy walk as she walks forwards too, she's like mm. She shakes her hair down seductively and sings about letting out her swirling storm inside, like guys. Coming in at number 8 we have Jane and Tarzan vine swinging. I mean talk about sexual tension. As if the smooth sounds of Phil Collins soundtrack weren't sexy enough, the montage where Tarzan and Jane learn from one another during the Strangers Like Me song is pretty darn hot. Not only is Tarzan a tough and buff half naked man who really enjoys casting some sideways glances at Jane, Jane is all about drawing him and biting her lips seductively as she does so. Of course the ultimate in sexy tension is when the pair swing on vines together. At one point Jane is pressed up against Tarzan as he vines her up. And really, some vine and some loincloth is all that's between them. As the sun sets, the pair are getting wild and free, and there's some very close face longing look action, blimey. Coming in at number 7, we have Ariel saving Eric. When Ariel first claps her eyes on Eric, she goes all gooey. So when his ship gets into trouble, she's all about saving the handsome two-legged prince. Thing is though, she's way, 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 way into his unconscious form, she leans over him on the beach, cupping his chin in her hands, staring longingly into his closed eyes, and she's practically naked too, all she's wearing is a seashell bra. Sebastian's face during this scene really says it all. Then after their encounter, she sings about him, then displays her real feelings with a sexy rock thrust. Coming in at number 6, we have the many kisses between Pocahontas and John Smith. I mean this isn't necessarily one moment, but each and every time Pocahontas and John Smith kiss, they full on go for it. Not only is Pocahontas probably the sexiest Disney princess, she's also really into Mr. Smith. Gone are the days of a friendly peck on the lips to denote true love. This pair full on pelt it every time with a lot of side face. That last kiss especially, I mean, you don't want to be watching that kind of smooch with other people around, it makes me blush every time. Coming in at number 5, we have Pirates of the Caribbean at world's end with the beach scene. Sexy or sad? Sad or sexy? I mean the two don't have to be mutually exclusive. I guess with sad sexy there's all kinds of unfulfilled desire and long lost like joy and pain. This is definitely the case during the beach scene of Pirates of the Caribbean 3 at world's End. Will and Elizabeth have just had a very dramatic marriage, followed by the literal death of the groom, who's now cursed to sail the seas forever. But before he goes, the pair consummate their marriage. You don't actually see that bit, but what you do see is Will taking off Elizabeth's thigh high boot and then kissing his way up her naked leg. I mean, her face says it all, really. Later, they have a very passionate kiss by the waves, and if anyone was wondering what exactly happened on the beach that day, the flash forward to 10 years later when we see a Elizabeth and her child waiting for Will should absolutely clear things up for you. Those kids just don't come from nowhere! Coming in at number 4, we have Jessica Rabbit's crotch flash. The 
character of Jessica Rabbit from Who Framed Roger Rabbit is pretty darn sexy anyway, but Disney takes things a step further as they reveal her going commando in a few quick frames. The busty temptress is thrown in the air following a car crash and reveals what those long legs and sparkly dress have been concealing. Coming in at number 3 we have Lumiere and Babette kissing. Lumiere is a Frenchman, cursed to live as a candlestick. Babette is a saucy French maid doomed to live as a legless feather duster. Despite their shortcomings, the pair still manage to have a steamy affair in the cursed castle. In one memorable scene, they're behind a red curtain making some pretty sexy sounds. When they emerge, Lumiere is holding her in his arms. Later, at the end of the movie when they're all human again, it's all about the way she struts by him or like tits out for the lads and feather duster in his face. Lumiere then chases her with a weird pervy throaty laugh like <laughs> it's too much and I'm like get a room guys. <laughs> Beauty and the Beast just keeps them coming in terms of the sexy moments. Our number 2 is from Strapping Beau Gaston. That's right, we have the big man's chest reveal. Some people love a self absorbed man, and Gaston is certainly that. As a specimen, yes, I'm intimidating. Especially when he's singing about how great he is and delivers the line, Every last inch of me's covered in hair, and he pops his shirt right open. Ladies who love a strapping man. Man, men who enjoy the bear type, Gaston is putting it right out there for you to enjoy. Ok so clearly the sexiest Disney moment of all has to be our number 1 and that is sexy red outfit Jasmine. Jafar captures princess Jasmine pretty much with the intent of making her his sex slave. Let's not beat around the bush. He chains her up in a red busty outfit and demands that the genie make her fall desperately in love with him. There is some kind of foreplay in the form of a drink in the face, but Jasmine later succumbs to his wish Wishes, or at least pretends to anyway. She then stands up with the chiffon fabric slipping down her chest and I love the way she pops her hip and runs her hands down her thigh. The way she kisses Jafar I mean oh my god like wow. I think she actually was kind of a little bit into it as well which makes it creepier. Yeah. So that was the top 10 sexiest Disney moments. Did you think these moments were sexy? Did I leave anything out? Let me know in the comments section down below. Also let me know who you think the sexiest Disney character is. I probably want to go with Tarzan because I mean loincloth. For now I'm Rebecca Felgate, this has been Most Amazing Top 10. If you like this video make sure you give it a good thumbs up, share it with a friend and of course stay subscribed to Most Amazing Top 10 for more lists coming at you twice a day. See you then, loincloth.